Okay, so I'm going to make a quick video. Um, I got a question on my YouTube channel and on uh, the Facebook page, uh, the Helix Group Facebook page, uh, about using programs like Match EQ um, to create impulse responses that can sound like live recorded guitar tracks um, that other people have recorded to try and match your guitar sound to like you make you sound like Eddie Van Halen or what have you. Um, there's a program called Match EQ uh, that is part of Logic. It's also in main stage, um, and as is Impulse Response Utility. If you watch my other video on how to create impulse responses, I go through that. Um, Logic's twenty nine bucks. You know, you can buy DAWs. You know, log I mean, not Logic. Main stage is twenty nine bucks. You can buy like Logic for two hundred and Isotope for three hundred. And you know, next thing you know, you got a thousand dollars in software without batting an eye, and um, this is a quick, easy way to do it. Um, so I'm going to make two videos. The first one is going to show you the signal routing because um, it's a little wonky because I wanted to use only the Helix uh, and not have to have another sound card and not have to have a lot of different things going on and spending money. So basically, um, I'm going to do one about signal routing and the second one I'm going to do is going to be about how to use Match EQ. Um, and that will probably be a video I make tomorrow. But first of all, let's talk about the routing. So once again, if you watch my other video, you saw impulse response utility. Um, and the way I have this set right now is I'm sweeping on channel three and I'm coming back in on channel one. Um, so that's how that's set. And now I want to go to HX edit. And I made it took a blank patch and I made a patch and I call this helix main stage. Um, so we're coming in three and four, as I showed you. We're sweeping on channel three. That's where the tone's going to go out. Uh, and then we go to five and six. Five and six is going to go into main stage. And then I come out of main stage. Now, when you come out of main stage, you're on USB one and two. Helix doesn't let you route USB one and two into a Helix. So what I did was I connected um, a cable from my quarter inch outs back to my auxiliary input on Helix. So we come back in here on aux input, and I go back out USB one and two. And that goes back into impulse response utility on channel one. Um, we're going only in mono because Helix only does impulse responses in mono anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, now you have to go into Helix and you set your USB one and two destination to quarter inch. And then away you go. Um, so that's the routing. Let me just show you what I have in main stage two. Um, we're coming in input 5, which as I showed you, that top path on Helix came in 3 and 4 and went out to input 5. So we come in input 5, and then main is out 1 and 2. That goes out the aux out jack, and then comes back, uh, the quarter inch out jack, and then comes back in the aux jack. And then we go back into this guy right here. And one other thing you have to do um, is, let me show you this. In order to get level matching, because auxiliary input on Helix is padded, it's like minus 17 or 18 dB or something. Uh, so I went to USB 1 and 2 send, and I just raised the level plus 18 dB. And then when I go to main stage and I set this at Unity, which is right around there pretty much, then I go back into here and I come up at. 11.6. I'm going out of 12, coming back in 11.6. Close enough. So that's how I have that set up for the signal routing.